Hey everybody, John from Shine On here, and today I am super excited to talk about the fact that we are launching upsells on the Shine On app. These are upsell products, which means we are gonna take your current purchases that sellers are making, and we are gonna give you the ability to offer upsells as post-purchase offers to help raise your AOV and get extra money and increase your margins. So let's go ahead, I wanna jump into the Shine On app and take a look at the products and what you're gonna to need to do so that you can start offering these upsells. All right, so here I am inside of one of my test stores and I'm in the Shine On app. And what I wanna show you is the first step to being able to use these upsell products is you need to publish them into your store. So if you go to new product, what you'll see is up here in the navigation, there's, or, or the filtering, there's an upsell. And you might have a red exclamation point, which means you haven't published any upsells. So let's go ahead and click on that. And you can see here, these are our two upsells that are available to you. We have the red cubic zirconium earrings in the six millimeter, and we have the clear cubic zirconium in the six meter, millimeter. What you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and publish these. You give them a, a title. Um, I like doing like cubic zirconia six millimeter earring. And then a basic description. Um, and uh, you will need to select niche, but that doesn't matter for anything. So you can probably ignore that. And then we can publish this and you can change the prices if you want. They obviously the base cost here is $5. Uh, you can offer them for 15, which is what we do on the Shine On platform. You can choose to lower that or raise it however you decide. But we will go ahead and publish that. That's really the end of what you need to do to get ready with upsells. Now, once you've published your upsells and um, you, know, you can go ahead and um, hide these from their store. Uh, we will not collect orders of just an earring. If you get an ear uh, order and it only has an earring on it, it isn't brought in as a post purchase. Um, our system is going to reject it. So go ahead and make sure these aren't showing in your store or anywhere like that where someone's going to go in and try and buy just an earring. Um, now, when you move on to the next steps of okay, so how do I actually go about offering these as upsell? Uh, post-purchase upsells. You can learn right about here about how to set these products using Cardhook and Zipify. I have videos for both of those. So go ahead and watch those videos and see. Cardhook has a little more of a built-out system that you can use to better choose what kind of offers you wanna do and make multiple offers. Um, that being said, it is a $50 a month app. Zipify is a little less on the ability side, but it is very user friendly and easy to set up and it's only $25 a month. Both of them have free trials that I recommend using, um, but they're really quick and easy to set up. And um, I have videos, like I said, on each of those. So go watch those vid videos if you're planning to set up using that. Again, I wanna go ahead and make sure I reiterate this. We will not accept orders that are just an earring um, or if you sell it and it's not post purchase and it's not connected with another product or another order it will not go through correctly so you really need to make sure you're doing it the way we're telling you to do it and don't go start just selling this earring by itself um, because we won't collect them you'll be on the hook for taking in customers monies and, and we're not going to fulfill it so just keep that in mind but that is the, the quick and simple on what you need to do. Um, so again, you know, I published the clear cubic zirconia. I also need to go here and I need to publish the red cubic zirconia. So I have the choice of which ones I wanna offer in my funnels when I go to set up my post-purchase funnels. So let's go ahead and hop back out of this. So again, I just want to reiterate the fact that we are doing these as post-purchase upsells. And the reason we like post-purchase upsells so much is because it doesn't affect the conversion rates on your current products or your campaigns. 
the goal of your campaign be a Facebook ad is to get someone to your store and buy the product that you are offering them. Now, once they've made the decision to go ahead and move forward, that's where we then try and get them to spend some more money because you've already got them on the hook. But at that point, it's too late for them to back out of the whole thing. So either way, you have uh, collected that first sale and all we're trying to do is give it a little boost, which is super nice. The margins are great. Um, and, and so I, I really highly recommend adding these to your products and, and and seeing how much you can do with them because I think it'll really help you to raise your AOVs on your store and also bolster out your margins so that you can play more with your ads. But that's the end of the video. Thanks for joining. Don't forget if you're gonna set up your post purchase, watch those videos on how to do Card Hook or Zipify. Have a great day.